Hi, everyone. It's Arthur here at Arthur Ease Your Mind on YouTube. And look who I have with me today. The one and Linder. only Linda. 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 I you know, when I was just talking to him before he went live, he's like, okay, let me start the show. He presses the button and goes, hi, my name is Arthur, and I'd like to... <laughs> when I worked in a band, we used to sit there like falling asleep going, we're the entertainment. Then we get on stage, you know. She's lying. I'm I'm full of pep. Uh, <laughs> boy, you're getting hits right and left and center, Miss Linda. I'll tell you. I was I just heard from I posted it on my YouTube yesterday out of the blue. My guides were like on me like flies. You know how they get. Oh yeah. And that Nicole, whatever her name is on MSNBC, they were doing that Debbie Downer conversation. No offense against Debbie's. Because now there's a hurricane named Debbie, and my sister is a Debbie. Uh, they uh, they were talking about you know uh, about him stealing the election and how he'll be. No, he won't. He's not going to be able to. And then this guy said it's going to be a very close. No, it's not. Don't ask me how I know. So visually, spiritually, the guides were like, "Let me know. This is the landslide we've been waiting for." The one thing the guides keep on telling me is to remind everyone, we've always said from day one, don't look at the polls. And yes. now that Kamala is like ahead in the polls, don't look at the polls. Right. Even Jimmy Carter was 14 points ahead and he lost. Yeah. So what I'm telling everyone is just go out and vote. Votes. Don't look at the oh, polls. And you see the numbers? It got so big yesterday in uh where were they? It wasn't the, the second show, the Michigan show was huge too, mm -hmm. but the one before that one. E oh. some E low, it's got sort of sound like a French name. I know what but, you're talking about. Yeah, uh, the police had to cut off the highway because there was too many cars coming in. There were people waiting in line for two miles. When have you seen a Trump group ever do that? When he when Biden. he paid them and gave them a box lunch, <laughs> like they do for film crews. <laughs> but they had also next to each other Trump at the Temple University Arena and Kamala at the Temple University Arena. Trump, the whole tears were empty. Kamala was standing and rolling. It's That's just it. she puts a shot in me. You know, I really loved Obama. I'm not Obama. But I love Obama too, but I really loved Biden. And I was very angry at them for trying to push him out. But they were worried that the numbers weren't, mm -hmm. weren't giving. And I can understand their worry now, but I just didn't like that. You know, because he was determined to stay. He didn't plan that. He was determined right. to stay. But when he decided to go, I loved it. He gave a little gift at the door on his way out. And that was Kamala. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was. And the vice presidential pick, everybody was kind of upside down about it at first. But I think it's brilliant. And when I listen to her speak, she's fantastic. And he's, they're both great. And the creme de la creme was uh, our guy, Walsh. Yeah. Mind your own damn business. I love that. I love that. And I love that he was a coach and everybody loves coaches. He was a veteran. And now JD Vance is trying to do the whole thing about, well, maybe he wasn't such a veteran like we think he was. So as I read this morning, Harlan Crow, who was the man that apparently put all the money up against John Kerry for that swift voting, which is all fake, has now promised Trump he's going to do the same thing and put lots of money up to try and discredit Tim Walls. I don't see it happening. I don't see it working. People love No, him. I don't see it happening. Because he's, you know, who was the one that he kicked back? Uh, oh, you know, I just found out what Trump was announcing. What? Trump just announced he wants three debates with Kamala. The first one is going to be September 10th. On Fox? Not on Fox. Because that was supposed to be on ABC. The September 10th one? Yeah. Uh, 
So I'll, I'll get more detail, but my friend yeah. just wrote me and said, so he wants, yeah, the, yeah, he, she's going to tear him a new one. Well, do, you, do, you see, do you see J.D. Vance and, and Tim Walls? Oh, I hope they do. You know, I got to tell you, I got that one wrong if he actually debates her. I, I got that one wrong because I feel like he would not debate her because he knows she would bury him. But if he actually says that, maybe he's hoping she'll say no. Well, he's trying to change all the rules and everything, so who knows? But hey, we both got it right. We didn't see we didn't see Joe Biden doing a second debate with uh, Trump. <laughs> And it ain't you got that part right. You got that right. I hope he did. Oh, are you kidding? This is a, a early Christmas present. Trust oh. me, she's not going to freeze. Oh, she, she'll bring receipts. <laughs> it's not. She doesn't know. Like when she told those hecklers, "Excuse me, I'm speaking," and she gives that look like yeah. your mom would give before she got your whooping. I even put a, a little gif on uh, one of the. Uh, uh, accounts it might have been threads of a woman with the slipper like this you know <laughs> one thing i like about kamala is i was talking to a friend and they said she knows where the shovels are i mean she said she knows where the bodies are kept i said she knows where the shovels are and she's got uh -huh. she knows what stores they were bought <laughs> she's not gonna mess so lots of questions here a okay lot of, good but, but one of them is a lot of the attitude is similar to like what Kim G has. Hello, Linda and Arthur. After the VP announcement, I saw people saying hope and joy everywhere. Yeah. It's just wonderful. Will the positive vibe stay through the election? I feel it will. I was thinking, are they we going to be able to keep this high? But I feel we will. And the good news is that it's so close now. What do we got? 90 days? Yeah. It's going to fly by. I'm already heading to the middle of August. Jesus. I know. And you know our event that we're supposed to do with Mel? Yes. By the way, you guys. September. How many seats left? Three seats left. September 24th. Well, no. September 26th. Arrive on the 25th. I'm coming the 24th, the day before, because I'm going early with my nephew. and We're going someplace in Springfield, Illinois. But uh, it should be a lot of fun. It's not too many people. It's enough people that we can spend quality time with everyone. It's very immersive. Yes. Yes. I mean, you'll have like three hours with a group of like maybe. Of a small group, too. Yeah, 10 people for three hours. No, it's less than that. Well, if you have 50, yeah, it's, whatever it is, it's going to be. It's two classes a day. Immersive, yeah. Yeah, okay. But anyway, it's going to be okay. And if anybody's interested. 847-590-5411. An author will post it. In that's there. that's Mel's office number. So. It's Mel's office. No, it's, it's bodeshatatas.com. <laughs> Oh, that's my that's my my website. Sorry. <laughs> www.bodaciousTatas.com. AKA OnlyFans. <laughs> my eyes. Uh, so a lot of people are asking also, do we feel that there's enough seats in Congress to make the changes needed that the Dems will win? And also, will Harrison Waltz ticket get enough electoral college votes? Yes. They I, are the new president and vice president. Right. I feel they're I'm gonna telling be, you, I almost feel Florida turning blue. What are you feeling? I said that before. Okay. Plus, you had a dream once where you said Rachel yes. was on there and said Florida turned blue. And I was shocked in the dream. So was my guy. I made him take his skirt off. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, I, 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 I'm I not even worried about that. I, I cannot begin to tell you how unworried I am. Maybe I should be, but I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried, but I don't want people to be overconfident. Well, yeah, we need to go vote. Well, Trump was telling, what, when is he going to make up his mind? First, it was don't even vote. I got enough votes. And now it's, 
vote all of my Christians who I love, please come out and vote for me and you'll never, we got this fixed. You'll never have to vote again. And do you remember in that speech when he said, I love you Christians? And then he said, I'm not Christian. Nobody picked that up. Yeah. You know, I guess they're trying to like Photoshop the horns off his head. But um, a lot of questions also, do you see Trump vans coming out with any dirt on VP Harrison walls that will hurt their numbers? Also, do you see any dirt on Trump or Vance coming out to hurt their numbers? Do I see what? First of all, do you see Trump and Vance going after Harrison and, and Walls with with dirt? Oh Talk God! Yes. Listen, they're already talking about why did he spend? Why did Walls spend his honeymoon in China? Well, he was teaching in China. So, but they don't re they don't see that. They're just seeing that he was in China. Yeah. Well, what was Trump doing in China? Getting patents yes. on water? Hello, hello. Ivanka got all kinds of stuff from China. Yeah, like China, a good everything. But the other one was: Do you see any dirt on Trump or Vance coming out to hurt their numbers? I've been saying for a while now. No, yeah. I could be wrong. But I do get two females coming forward with receipts regarding Epstein and Trump. I think so too. I've been feeling that. I think September. I was saying the end of this month. And also I feel that one of them may be slightly known. Like there's a name and she says enough is enough. I don't, they have, wow. people have to know this. Wow. Yeah. You know, and, and then don't forget, we still have the 18th. He's still being sentenced. Oh yeah. Now, what did you get on that? Did you get that it'll, there'll be jail time or will they extend it, say, after the election since it's only a few more months? I'm not sure. I'm going to be honest with you. What I got on this whole thing is, though, he. The wording my guides have always used is he will be put in a facility. That's what I got to. Now, whether it's because he's like rocking back and forth in a, in a straitjacket or. Or he's hospitalized, or he's, you know. Behind Let me look at Marshawn. Let me see if I can see Marshawn. Marshawn doesn't like him at all, but he can't. He can't let that. He's very by the book, Marshawn. Oh, yeah. What is it? He's already got it written up. His punishment. It's already all documented. But of course, it's locked up. He's going to get jail time. They may put him in a facility for this unusual aspect of him being a president, but I'm still feeling like Trump will challenge this or do something and they allow that to go through. Does that make sense? And then they'll put him in jail. Oh, in other words, he'll appeal it. He'll appeal it, yeah. And he'll appeal anything. But, but of course, you know, September, October, November, I mean, it, it's going to be over. When he loses, it's really going to be over. <sighs> no wonder Holland Crow said, I'll spend millions to put dirt. He was able to do that. Listen, when he did that, who who did he do this to again? John. John, John Kerry. John Kerry. He was able Bush. to do that because we didn't have cell phones and we didn't have that kind Social of media. We'll be able to cut it right where it starts, just like with the whole China thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. This guy went to China. Really? You know, in the meantime, uh, it Ivanka and everybody got all kinds of stuff from China. But she even got a patent. They forgot to mention that he was a teacher in China. Right. Oh, don't let the facts get in the way of the good story. You know, it's like one of the lines as a reporter, people used to say is, well, the rumor was true. Meaning that there was a rumor. It doesn't mean that what the rumor was was true. Now I like this one from T. Lynn. In Biden's State of the Union address, he said they're going after corporations for price gouging and Americans will be receiving stimulus checks in September. Will this happen? I think Kamala will make sure it does. Kamala. Kamala. I got a t-shirt. It's coming. It's got a big comma. Comma and la. And it la. Yeah. Did you see that? It's, it's called the village in Florida 
um, senior citizens uh, community that for years was Trump, 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 and they run around doing little parades in their golf carts. Yeah, I think and I've heard of that. Now it's all Kamala. No joke. I mean, how can people even, this is why, think about it. This is why, I'm telling you, Judge Marchand is the same jail time. Just now he said to me, clear as day. Mm -hmm. This is why um, Trump is desperate. He's desperate. And everybody's going, why isn't he debating? Why isn't he out there? He's sitting there fuming and he's afraid too. Believe it or not, that ricocheted glass on his ear actually scared him. I remember saying when it happened that it caused, even though he used it, it caused him a little post-traumatic stress. I really did. I really felt that he would have difficulty appearing in, in too many public events. There's not even a scar, though. I know. I know. But the fact that someone was up there and got away with being up there to shoot at him. Yeah. It, it actually, just like I said about um, our cute singer, um, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift, right. She, the, you know, sure, they they stopped this and thank God, but it caused something in her. That's what I was telling everybody. It caused this feeling of uncertainty and made her not able to perform as well because she, she's going to be nervous now. She's worried. Yeah. I'm telling you, the days of live concerts, something's going to happen in a live concert. Not because of Trump. Because something's getting ready to happen in a live concert. And I really feel that concerts may end up, in fact, just be being events you can purchase and watch on your TV. Or hologram. Like boxing. Yeah. That's horrible. But it's the state we live in, unfortunately. I know. Okay, Debbie Downer, let's look for another one. Hi, guys. How does Mitch McConnell's wife feel about his racism? She's not even around him. Right. She married him for his title and what he could do. I think she's in China a lot right now. Well, that's where family is. Yeah. Now, here's she one. He used him and he used her. Convenience. Nothing to do with love. Mm -mm. you well, know when trump fired her or she stepped down he mm -hmm. didn't back her up at all no no here's a here's a nice one from sylvia how's president biden feeling is he okay he must feel betrayed by his own party they stab him in the back we haven't seen him since the hostages were released I still see that he's doing stuff behind the scenes. He's I think he's working hard. I think he's working hard. Because he doesn't have... His, I don't his energy is lower. He's tired. He's very tired. And I think his family is very grateful that he doesn't have to be out there hustling. He'll come out and, and campaign for her. I agree. Now, do you see... Uh, Boot Candy's asking, does it look like Trump will, re will fire Couch Potato Vance and replace him with Mike Johnson? You know, I wasn't feeling that, but I just think that he's really unhappy with him. Yeah. But I was thinking it's too close, but with him, you never know. I was surprised when you they my friend wrote and said he's going to debate with Kamala. I just couldn't believe it. I know. Let's go buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> yeah, I, I just couldn't believe it. Because in past predictions, and i probably been wrong about this, but I've always seen for the last two years, uh, Pete. Uh, He's going to get a good position. He might be Secretary of State. He only speaks seven languages. Can you believe it? And he does. He's, he's deaf interpreter. And he knows how to also speak. also pianist. He's what a concert. He's played with orchestras. He's 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 such a genius. It's unbelievable. Yeah. But years ago, I kept on saying I never saw Trump crossing the finish line. Yes. And always felt something about Nikki. I've all, I, back when I first read him, I said I don't know if he would make it all the way. I remember saying that, but 
And the His cards are real bad game. coming up. He's really bad. Yeah. He may stroke out when that judge throws a book at him. Or fake it like he's sick. Well, that's... He's an entertainer. Whenever I look at the Republican Party, when I was watching the convention, all I kept on thinking was that movie, That's Entertainment. <laughs> um, I can see Kamala sending him a nice present with a big bow and it's a couple of uh, big cartons of uh, diapers. Here you go, sir. Make sure you carry the... Yeah. I wonder if the Secret Service has to carry fly swatters. I don't know, but, you know, they have to be able to smell that. If they say it's terrible, he stinks back. You remember that one where he was sitting there cutting them with poor Diane Feinstein? I think that's what actually took her out. And she, he was just cutting good. them and she was going like this, you know, like, what the? See, it was, if it was me, I would have said, what the hell? Go outside if you're going to do that. How rude. Excuse me? Yeah. He's the guy who would fart in an elevator and like look the other way. But he's that slovenly. He's that type of person. He doesn't care. He doesn't care about showing any kind of courtesy. Well, I think the the spiritual word that keeps on coming to me is gross. What was it that saying on uh, that show with Shirley MacLaine? Some guy said, Oh, she said, well, at least he takes the dishes out the sink for he pees in it. <laughs> I can't remember who she was talking about. <laughs> um, Still Magnolias. Still Magnolias. Oh, yeah. Here's a fun one. Hey, guys. It's from Patty Lee. Whatever happened to Q? Who was the mind behind Q and QAnon movement? I never paid attention. They're still around. They're still yeah, around. I have no idea. Because Trump was like reposting their stuff on on his truth social all last summer. Well, or, let me tell yeah. you, when he loses big time and they lose a whole bunch of people, they got to go back to, to square one. This is going to upset a lot more than just Trump. And well, did you see... That what's his name, Ari or whoever on MSNBC. I didn't watch it, but I saw he had Steve Miller on there. Ari the Miller. Ari the Mel one to separate the Ari. Mel yeah, but he had Steve Miller on his show. The one that separated the children. What the hell do you have to talk about with this guy? I he know. thinks he's a rap artist. Ari does. He thinks he likes to hang around art uh, rap people. Yeah. They probably laugh at him when they get home. Whenever I see Steve Miller, I always see him in a SS uniform. That's what I always see. And he's got those eyes like um, Jared Kushner. They're just sharks. Nothing behind there. Just darkness. Right. Um, how uh, just now. Oh, a big headline. Uh, mortgage rates have plunged the lowest level in more than a year. We well, said that was going to happen. We said that. We said that. I so love it. All the ones that tell us we got it wrong. I agree. We do get things wrong. We do get things wrong because we're not God. Only God's 100. Well, I always thought Biden was going to stay in, and he even said, I'm staying in. Yeah. So... The cards were so good, and I thought it was about him. What it was about was that it's going to work out even better. And even though he stepped away, he's not crushed or carrying it's on. It's not like he stepped away from the presidency and she's now. No, but back when he was first president, I said he, that he's going to pass the baton to yeah. Kamala. And I said out loud on the show, she will be the first female president of the United States. Right. And been... I knew he was passing it to her, but I didn't realize. I thought it was two years in the second term what it was. She would have done what would have been his second term. It was actually so that's weird. It's the way we read the information. Right. It's interpretation. But after all the scuttlebutt and all the crap, I mean, the first show I did was, people, we had it right. The timing was off. Yeah. That's yeah. all. Timing is, is really tough. I mean, 
you're pretty good with it. I, I, I've had <laughs> pretty good hits. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you look at the bottom line as to what is the actual prediction. Sometimes it's not going to happen on the, can't get a calendar out. The guides don't work on the same calendar that we do. Right. Hell, when people think- even when Biden won the last time, I was feeling more of a landslide, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. And I think this is the one that's going to be the landslide because I really felt a huge change coming to the administration. And like you said, he's like a good old boy. He's a statesman. So he doesn't yeah. really now Kamala and Tim Walls, they're a different generation. Yeah. You know, and, and Tim Walls, he's 60 years old. That's still 17 years younger than Trump. But he's got a good sense of humor. Oh, I love he's it. Kind of like you when he was telling his daughter. And then we're going to go for corn duck. She said. Uh, vegetarian. She said, Dad, I'm a vegetarian. He said, all right, then turkey dogs. And she said, that's Dad, good. that's still meat. He said, "Not it's not in Minneapolis, it isn't. It's special. That's something you would say. Well, yeah, he's also an Aries. I know I couldn't believe that. April 6th. And I can see it now, but yeah. dang, he don't he don't mess. I love the way what he did for that first student that came out that was gay. Oh yeah. Isn't that just freaking wonderful? They interviewed him and he was saying he protected me from bullies. Yeah. And a lot of kids came forward and said that they wouldn't have even finished high school if it wasn't for him. Yeah. He was a he was somebody that cares. That's what we need. This is what the angelic forces are doing too. This is planned, you guys. This is something they're gifting us because energetically, the vibrational energy of this world, of this United States of America, is actually getting stronger on the realm side. Mm -hmm. Because remember, I even when we hated Trump so bad, and I said to everybody, "Listen, we got to stop." talking trash as much as it hurts people were mad at me for saying that but vibrationally it would put us in an in a in a resistance mode because as you talk trash about them which we love to do we love to make a joke but it doesn't help our cause you've got to just let it roll and you've got to just keep vibrating and putting it up and that's what they were telling me mm. the vibrational energy of this nation because it won't be business as usual Sure, Kamala kind of comes from the old school too. Right. But I see a lot of good people coming in around her and helping her really decide good things for America. Well, this is why I always say send them love and light. Yeah. So get it right. Yeah. Yeah. Because if that's if the reincarnation and they're the upgrade, what were they before? And this Supreme Court has to go. Oh, it's they're going. And because they would have got rid of women's rights, they would have got rid of gay rights, all of it would have been everything. down the toilet. Well, if you really look at, I mean, you can download Project 2025. I know. And I did. And it's, it's pretty bad. It is horrifying. They want to take stuff away from veterans. I know. And Social Security and every, uh, how can the old folks live? They don't they, care. They don't want them to live. They want to get rid of public schools. But they will teach Christian nationalism. Which is nuts. But we were that close. We were that close. That's when they talk about close call. The close call is that we were that close to becoming a fascist nation. Well, they say history repeats itself. And so everyone says, how did Hitler rise? How did it happen? How could that have happened? Well, we got to see it firsthand how it could happen. And yeah, and you know what? We had a part of unfortunately the um the the Jew Hitler was happy to send the Jews to America, but we had the fascist white KKK clan running the Supreme Court and the, yeah. and so when when um Franklin D. Roosevelt was president, he his hands were tied. He couldn't help them because they refused to let him in. The guy that was running the ability to come into the United States was an anti-Semitic. Just mm. awful what they did. So because we didn't help them, that's why Hitler thought, yeah, well, they don't even like him, so let's just burn them. That's exactly. They're expendable. Because if this nation doesn't even want them. It was really sad. But we've learned. We've learned. And 
it's a, it's a lesson we had to learn or else it would be scary because this is oh, what yeah. all those dystopian science fiction movies are all about if trump were to get in well that's what surprised me about austria austria and germany i've never been to austria i know that's where um there's a museum or up on the hill where hitler used to love that place up on the hill in austria you know he only had one scrotum right right and um anyway a friend of mine went there she she visited it but um the one thing they do is they're always talking. If you did that signal, you would be arrested. Mm -hmm. they're, they're totally anti anything from the when Hitler arrow. was ground. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They learned their lesson. That's why it was so weird. But this was ISIS related. There's a lot of other factions, but we still learned our lesson. Yeah. And the icing on the cake will be when we vote. Yes. We'll go out. All of us. That's why I'm wearing blue. I'm going to sign up for, um, I'm wearing blue too. Um, that's why I'm going to sign up for driving people if they need to. The thing is, is I live in a state where you can, you can vote, um, you know, post office. We're in the same state. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I thought you were in Kentucky for some reason. <laughs> There's, Maybe some, about you that, there's just, some about you that reminds me of Kentucky. That's Mel, actually. Mel is. I was going to say Mel. Yeah. So anyway, um, I'm a Philly boy. They they had the uh, the Kamala and uh, Tim Walls speech in Temple University. That's my alma mater. Really? It's where in that hall is where I graduated college. Isn't that something? Yeah. But um. I really feel we're still going to get both houses. I do too. Senate in the house. And that's when a lot of changes are coming down. I'm also seeing, even though we have September 16th coming down, or 18th rather, with Trump, Chutkin is not going to be not playing either. Countries. We've been saying that. And it's just going to get worse. He did what? Worse. He did what? He did what? He did what? He's barely going to be able to hang in there to see what happens with the vote. He's going to I don't be... think they're telling him the truth, sir. Well, they are almost acting like it's head to head, but it's not head to head because they're not including the millions of millennials and they love Walsh. Yeah. It was a good pick. I can't believe how good of a pick it was. And, you know, I got to tell you, initially, even though I did not not like uh, Kamala, I thought, well, you know what? Because I was upset that he stepped down. But then the more I listened to her, the more I liked her, you know, because she was a tough cookie here in California. Oh, I remember. Yeah, she was. And when she went after Kavanaugh during the Senate hearings, about him going to become a judge on the Supreme Court, the questions she was asking were just brutal. I know, I love it. Do you know if there's any laws against men's health, about, about men's bodies? He didn't know what she meant. That's because that, that's... I always see Kavanaugh with one of those, like, baseball caps with the two beer cans. Yeah, I, I do see him having to step down. Yeah. Something's coming up with this Supreme Court. First of all, I don't see Thomas making it very much longer. I don't know if he's kicked out or if he drops out. I said to you, you know, it was a year ago that I did your show the first time. It was on July 12th or 13th. But who's counting? you got a great memory. Uh -huh. And um, that's when I said I had felt that... Uh, Thomas would be stepping down right before the election. And it would be for quote unquote health reasons. But a lot of it has to do with also with Ginny. And I still feel it. And with all the new stuff coming out with the trips to New Zealand and everything else. That, oh, and there's more and more. more yeah. What they're getting him on is um, IRS. Right. It's not paying the taxes on that. Well, actually, they're going after the billionaires asking now you went on this yacht did you use that yacht was that a business trip did you take that off your taxes or was that personal now 
Clarence Thomas said it was personal. So if it's personal and you took it off as your business tax, <laughs> that's how fine tuned they're going after them. They're going after the billionaires, not Clarence Thomas now. But they're going after Thomas too. He's oh, they're doing both. The but I'm DOJ. just saying, you know, they're, they're putting up the heat. But I see all of them having to speak. I saw this vision, you guys. And and I'll repeat it again. I see them at the at a, a wood very wood with their attorneys, and I see the Senate just taking a knife and pounding them. Explain yourself. Explain yourself. Mm -hmm. Explain why you told us you weren't going to go against precedents, and then you turned around and did this. Mm -hmm. All of them. And I still see Roberts the same energy I of John Boehner before he stepped down when he could not control the Republicans. Oh, really? Oh, so you see him stepping down? Not right away, but he's, he's thinking about it is what I keep on feeling. Cause no, he's, he's lost control. Well, and also they're going to get rid of all these cray crays. And, and all the leaks. Put it, huh? And this is the first time in history we've had so many leaks from the Supreme court. It's them too. They checked out all, all the people that work there, but they didn't check them. Well, they couldn't because they're above the law. Yeah. They have to, you know, so uh, you don't think Alito was the one who, like, put that thing out there? Please. Oh, hell yeah. And Mr. I know that his wife wants him to step down. The only reason he's hanging in there now is they're really hoping Trump will win. Well, maybe when he realizes the writing is finally on the wall. And Trump's on a gurney somewhere. <laughs> Maybe I'll step down. Yeah. I'm not wishing bad for anybody. So. No, we can't do that. We can't do that because it energetically it brings us down. We have to stay high. When they go low, we go high. Mm -hmm. And don't when go, we fight, don't we bogart win. that joint, my friend. What's that? Don't bogart that joint, my friend. I just do it in gummy. Oh, God, I remember I have it back when I probably the last time I did a smoked any pot was probably in the 60s or 70s. I can't remember. They made it too strong. One day I tried it and it, they made it too crazy. I had such a panic attack. I never touched it again. Everybody's going to go, oh, my God, Linda's actually smoked pot. I'd lived with pot with the ex-husband here. Jesus, that guy just smoked all the time. The dogs were walking around high. <laughs> Oops, did I just crap in the middle of your floor? I thought I was on the lawn. I'm so sorry, man. It's really bad when dogs get the munchies, too. Are you going to eat that sponge? Or can I? Could you put a little salt on it? Yeah. Are you going to eat that sweater? I never, George Carlin talking about people being high. Uh, walking at 7-Eleven with a can of lard going, what's the date on this? Cool it. <laughs> well, here in Los Angeles on Sunset Boulevard, there's a Ralph's grocery store and it's known as Rock and Roll Ralph's. Uh -huh. It's open 24-7. And if you go in there like 2 o'clock in the morning on like a Saturday or Friday night, all the donuts, all the sh everything's gone. There's not one thing left. Oh, because, because they eat you know to keep the high going, you know, they eat sugar. So it's it's, it's like you're in the ah and and it means you know you gonna pay for that. <laughs> 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 the box is empty. Oh God, does but. it still cause munchies? Hmm? Does does marijuana still cause cause people to have munchies? It did back in the days. The in day, the 70s, I, I don't know. But I don't know about now. They put so much PCP in it and stuff. Yeah, but it was homegrown back then. Yeah. the One of the worst cases I ever saw was a gentleman who was running naked on a, a high school field, wiped out on PCP. And the sheriffs brought him in. They had a hell of a time uh, restraining him. And they put him on the gurney in my ER. And we five point restrained him, you know, yeah. face down, his his hands, his legs, and around his waist. We put some sort of mask on him so he couldn't spit or bite you. 
and sheriffs were on top of him. He actually got the thumbnail of one of the sheriffs and yanked it off. The guy was screaming. I felt so terrible for him. But that's that. Pe and then the next day when he woke up, because he was in all night, he was just battered. I mean, I think he had bones he didn't even know was broken. He just didn't know what had happened. And um, the other thing that worst, worst time I worked in the ER was, and I always swore I would never do it again, was a dead concert. I would work ER nights, Christmas, I didn't care. But I would never do a dead concert because the first First time it was at the Oakland Coliseum, the hospital I worked in was Oakland, yeah. and all those young kids on acid, and they were like demons from the exit. Suck it, suck it. Young kids, right? And the parents, we had the parents coming in, and they're like, oh, normally he's not like this. And then sure enough, when they got rallied and came off the drug, just as sweet and compliant as can be. And they were demons, I tell you. I had so much holy water walking around with a fire hose with the stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. And now they think, I wonder what, uh, how many of them are councilmen? I <laughs> Isn't that the how many? How many are the head of the school boards now? I know, I know. But that's what's scary. Well, what's scary, too, God forbid, but he won't make office. Even when I say if Trump was in office, I can't even. It's like I'm talking such a fantasy. I can't go there. But eventually, it's not necessarily him, but his cohorts, they would get into everybody's medical records. Oh, yeah. They would know exactly what happened to you when you were 16. Good, because I don't remember. <laughs> no, but. The amount of the word I walk, walked away with from the very first rally with Kamala and Tim Walls was joy. Mm -hmm. A sense of joy that we have not had. And he even mentioned it. He thanked her for being jo bringing joy back. I know. Isn't that something? And this is something that each of us has to take into ourselves and be joyful. And yeah. This is where I talk about the art of gratitude. Yes. Where I always say, you know, being raised Catholic, you pray to God, 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 God. And then you realize one day nobody prays to God. We all pray to Santa Claus. Can I have this? Can I have that? Please, I'll be good. But it's when you really sit down and are grateful for the good, the bad, and the ugly. When I read people that are really in a funk, I yeah. always remind them, even though you don't feel it, because I know even when your parents would say, what do you say? What do you say? Thank you. And the, I got slapped when I used to say that. But it really does help your spirit to mm -hmm. be Great. in grace for what you do have. Even for simple things like a roof over your head. So I tell people who are in funks, just start off by the simple things. Be grateful you're breathing. Be grateful for this or that. Try to focus on that. Well, there's a monk, I forgot, it's in one of these books back here. And his he said, there's only one prayer you ever need to get into heaven. There's only two words. Thank you. Yeah. When you say it from your heart. Yeah. And so we have a lot to say thank you to Joe Biden, Kamala right. Harris, Tim Walls. But and when you saw Kamala time. and you saw Walls come out on that stage that very first time, I will let, this will be imprinted in my soul energy. Did you find yourself smiling, especially the way he went out there? He has the biggest smile. He's infectious. It's and he's like, got his arm up in the air. And he's like this, and you know, and she's just laughing the whole time. And I'm like busting up. I'm busting up. Well, and he said, the one they were complaining that, what, Kamala laughs? I've never seen Trump laugh. I don't think I've seen him laugh. Unless it's maybe a little bit of a snicker about someone suffering. Exactly. He likes people to suffer. Yeah. Well, my dear, this has been fun. Oh, thank you. This is, I mean, the time flies. If I didn't have places to go and people to see, I would be here all day. That's right. I got bigger names. 
<laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be on the phone with Biden in two minutes. You so, know, um, you know, I call you, you you're my YouTube mamacita. So. Uh, what do they call uh, uh, Kamala? Uh, her mamala? Mamala. Mamala and papala. I love it. Yeah. I love that look she gave that guy. Uh, excuse me, I'm talking. If Lois could kill, she annihilated half of the West Coast. Oh, just wait till Trump starts telling her. When did you turn black? When did you turn smart? When did you start playing the accordion? He does that. Somebody said you put two symbols in his hands and he looks like one of those monkeys. Well, that's when you know he's lying. Yeah. Because well, when he does either. this, he's usually lying. Yeah. When he breathes, but he's usually lying. My new name for him, my new nickname for him, and I don't think it's that derogatory. I just call him Don Old. Don Old. He is old. So, my dear. So, how's it? If you want to get a hold of you, you're still giving readings, or you're no. on hold. No, sorry about that, you guys. But don't forget, if you want to meet me in person, and if you want to meet Arthur in person, eight four seven five nine zero five four one one. Yeah. Give him a call. And you laugh, you'll cry, you'll kiss your money goodbye. No, I'm just kidding. Apparently, I'm looking forward to the food. Apparently, the food is delish. You know, I'm going I'll be the first one in line. I'll be the first one in line. So just get out of my way. Oh, okay. it's, if there's shrimp there, it's you and I. We'll be fighting. <laughs> anyway, no, but this has been fun. Anybody who wants a reading, I've got availabilities. Yes, he's got availability. There's a lot of other psychics too that are writing me telling me they're available, but I've been telling people about August. These. August is it's one of the open, yeah, it's one of those funky months, but I'm available. Okay, I'm, I'm on the corner with the street with the sign, sandwich sign. We'll read for food. That's what I used that in one of my routine, my comedy routines. I talked about the, the guy I met, you know, how nice he was. And, uh, you know, he, he was high class. When he took me to eat, he'd carry my tray and everything. People laughed at that. And then I said he was in advertising, you know, the guy on the corner with the signs. <laughs> the spinners. Anyway. Okay, my friend. All right. Well, we'll do this again. We will. All right. Big it's love to everybody. Thanks Stay for coming by. positive. And God bless so South Carolina, North Carolina, they're going through some really, and check it out, more systems are coming up. There's a good one that might not even hit Florida. It's going to hit up towards Chicago and New York. Well, we'll be saying lots of most benevolent outcomes. We need to okay. just keep it calm. I mean, 15 inches of water. Hello. That's a lot. So, yeah, we need to... to Wish the best for the East Coast. Okay. okay. All right, sweetie. I love you. Take love care. You bye bye.